to those who want to cause pain, to those who want to shed blood. We have a message about the Jewish people. Everyone, Am Yisrael Chai! Chai! Am Yisrael! I don't hear you! I still don't hear you! Am Yisrael Chai! Am Yisrael The people of Israel live. I never thought, after leaving the legislature, that I would be faced, and all of us would be faced, with a situation that is literally out of control. That we would have anti-Semitism in New York, of all places. The heart of the Jewish community in America, New York, over a million Jews. That we would have a situation in New York of unprecedented hate, unprecedented anti-Semitism. We're not talking about the numbers being five and then being ten. We're talking about such dramatic numbers that create such concern and such fear. I have to tell you, in 1944, in 1944, my mother told this story all the time. She's not around anymore. Boy, if she was watching what's unfolding in America today. In 1944, living in Czechoslovakia, the people in the Jewish community there were rounded up. My mother, my grandmother, brothers, sisters, nephews, nieces. They put four locks on the door, by the way, four locks, because they thought they were coming back. And then they were put on cattle cars. Many of the people on the cattle cars were dead by the time they got to Auschwitz. If you want to understand why I and you cannot be silent, why we need to speak up and be strong, because my grandmother and members of my family and my family went straight, went straight to the gas chambers that day. That day. I don't have grandparents. Never had grandparents. I am a grandparent, but I never had a grandparents, not because they died of old age or because of disease, because of hate. Because there were people out there who hated Jews and they were going to do something about it. And boy, did they. Two million children were murdered during the Holocaust. Two million children. Six million people. We have a situation in New York where Jews are being assaulted on a regular basis, where Jewish blood is running in the streets, where there are swastikas, where there is hate expressed by people in this city. We have a situation, as I said, that even the police department, even the mayor, the governor, everyone else, you can't run away from statistics. And let me tell you something, as horrible as those statistics are, they don't tell the whole story. I had a gentleman in my synagogue, a man in his 60s, who came over to me last uh, week, and he said to me, I was on the train station at uh, Kings Highway at McDonald's, and I was waiting for the train, and a woman came over to me, a woman that he had never met in his life, and she just came over and said, you effing Jew, twice, and walked away. The guy was stunned. Something is not right. Something is very wrong. And I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone will disagree with me that the leaders of this city, be it the mayor or others, that they have truly expressed and done what needs to be done. That is clear that the mayor and others have not done what they should have done. You know, many, many of the crimes, and by the way, it's not just the Blasio, it's a lot of other elected officials. Only imagine, only imagine, only imagine if instead of dozens and dozens of anti-Semitic acts, just imagine if there were two acts directed against the African-American community by, by people who hate. Just imagine if there were two incidents that were directed against the transgender community or the gay community. Can you imagine what would be going on in this city 
Could you imagine the rallies and the demonstrations and the screaming demanding action? But when it comes to Jews, Jewish blood seems to be cheap again here in New York, unfortunately. I, I, I am calling, I am calling on the mayor. It is time for that. We're not dealing, yeah, I know all the politicians, they all condemn anti-Semitism. Takes a lot of courage to do that, right? I'm against racism and anti-Semitism. Then you go home and you come back next week to condemn it again. But you don't do a darn thing. You don't address where is the hate coming from. We have a lot of videos. We see young people walking over to people who are identifiably Jewish and belting them in the head. Do you, do you understand what that means? Can you imagine if you were the victim of such an attack? How it would, how it would affect your life? How would you go to sleep? How would you explain it to your children, to your wife, to your husband, to your mother and father? How would you deal with it? And unfortunately, that has not been the case. At one point, the mayor, and I remember, and I had a conversation with him afterwards, at one point he actually said, all the problems here in New York, it's all about the right wing. It's all about the radical right. And I said to him, and I said to him, what in God's name are you talking about? You know, he changed, he changed his tone a day or two later. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what I'm asking for if we're going to be serious about this. And this is only the beginning. And God bless everyone who put this together with a, literally, by the way, with a, with a budget that approaches zero. Thank God you're out here and we're just getting started. I'm asking on the mayor to declare a state of emergency here in New York with regard to anti-Semitism. And to deal, and to deal and to deal with all the facets related to it. Why is this happening? Who are the perpetrators that we know about? Where is the hate coming from? Where is the hate coming from? Is it coming from the family? Is it coming from the church? Is it coming from school? But something is not right when you have the kind of statistics that we're all familiar with. By the way, in 2017, 2017, I was getting ready to retire. I said, I'm not gonna have anything to do. I'm not gonna be busy, I'm gonna relax. There were 17 assaults, anti-Semitic assaults, in 2018. 17, a year later the number was 33. 17, 33, almost 100%. In 2019, and we're only in September, there's been an increase of 63%. Attacks upon Jews, anti-Semitic attacks, are more numerous than all other racial attacks against all other protected groups in this city. Do you hear what I'm telling you? It is out of control and the mayor needs to declare a state of emergency. And don't ask me what that means exactly. The mayor is the mayor of this city. We need to put an end. Why should New Yorkers be afraid to walk the streets? Is that insane? We're living, we're living in 2019. We're living in 2019. Do you want me to share the emails that I have received from people in Brooklyn and other parts of the city who asked me the following question? Is this the beginning of pre-Nazi Germany? This is what they put in writing to me. And I answer them, no, oh, no, 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 it is not. But the very fact that New Yorkers can even talk about it, the fact that New Yorkers can raise this concern, is this pre-Nazi Germany tells you we've got a very serious problem. And before I go further, let me tell you one group in this city that deserves tremendous credit. And they do not get the support they should get. And that is the New York City Police Department. They want to do the job. So we are, we are not going to stop. And I just want to mention, you know, when people ask, uh, you know, where's it all coming from? Ladies and gentlemen, when someone running for the presidency of the United States 
Bernie Sanders can hire Linda Sarsour to be his spokesman. I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean, what more is there to say? Hiring someone who supports violence, someone who is a supporter of Farrakhan, someone that we can go on and on, which I don't want to do. We got a lot of other people, Linda Sarsour, Bernie Sanders running for. Is that what it means to be a progressive, a liberal? Is that what it means that you that when it comes to the Jewish people, when it comes to the Jewish people, when it comes to anti-Semitism, there's a double standard. Hey, double standard. So, ladies and gentlemen, and then you have members of the United States Congress who indulge in anti-Semitism. You think you think it doesn't have an effect? Anyway, I want to say to all of you here, God bless each and every one of you. I wish you a happy and healthy year. And let me tell you one other thing. We are not afraid. We are just getting started. And we will be successful. God bless you.